Okay, so I'm with I'm with my outreach worker here today, and you know, like, and I just kind of talked with him as we were doing going and around and saying that we just, you know, I've come to a lot of revelations that you know when people in this province like. They're completely different from Saskatchewan, though. You know, there, you know, there's a lot. Everyone is just so divided, and because there's nobody to trust, and you know, I mean, a lot of those green freaks just want want everyone to start using the public bus system, but they don't they don't realize that people are railing against the ineffective of of transit because because like because it's because they it's just it takes too long and and there, and time's just a waste in a day you know and and on top of that sometimes in some areas that as having a public a, a transit is just it's just not not economically feasible yeah, and I looked. On, I remember seeing a news article that that read your, your fiscal year has predicted a, has projected a a ninety million dollar loss on the budget. And they gotta cover that loss, but how? Are, the question is how. Like, there's just so many things that they've neglected to do because of their because they because of their their unwind. And his decisions to spend the money on, you know, like, you know, I know that, you know, just, and of course, Red Deer is also an idle free e place, so, but no, no parents want to, no mother just wants to stop, but their kids in such, you know, cold cold car when it's so well 30 it's like 30 degrees or, or colder like and I would say just you know what just just stop whining about it you know I've been I've been in, in I've been in, in 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 cars that were colder you know especially in Saskatchewan but of course in Saskatchewan, the winters are more, the cold is more of a dry cold. You don't feel it as much, and, you know, like, and, you know. I mean, even as a kid, I had to suck it up, you know, and that's, and these days, kids or parents just don't, are, are, it's like we're trying to keep them in a protective rocket like come on, they need to they need to get out of their biospheres you know and actually like you know it's because you know the storms of life are what make us stronger and you know and yeah but I know that if it's because even now like I can't I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to afford or, or to own a car because of the insurance and and any payments for any any new new cars like uh uh you know no nope. instead I'll just you know instead I'll find one that's like cheaply used and. You know, but, but for now I just have to stick with buses and all that kind of stuff. But, <clears throat> like, and then, you know, like, like a, but Greenpeace activists want people to use the bus, but oh, people are just so used to it. And driving everywhere that they've 
that I have kind of lost sight of the real or that, of the, what the big picture is like. I mean, I mean, so, you know, maybe I've said this before, but I would say it again. Like when you have no gratitude for what you have, you just you just have no integrity. Like there's people out there who are just trying to use credit to keep up and survive, and you know, and it just doesn't, and it only causes them more keep some deeper in trouble and I mean it's always been said you can't throw money at the problem you gotta face those problems because if you don't you just get yourself in deeper or in deeper in the hole yeah you know and that's and now, I refuse to get in, into that trap. Because, you know, it, all it does is just, you know, like, and this, <coughs> this mentality of, of, what do other people think of you, but, if me, you know, some people are so used to their lifestyles that, they have lost sight of their real selves. But, you know, I'd say, like, I mean, you know, if, if people turn their back on you, then they don't matter, you know. I just, you know, you know, you treat as you be tr as you're treated. And it has always been said, don't judge others and you will not be judged. Do not, do not condemn others or you will be condemned. You know? And, and I, ref I need to learn to, to, ref to keep away from idle talk. Because what, what, what you say will either acquit you or condemn you. Yeah, like, but I know that if when I when I move to a group home in Regina on welfare, I won't be making as much. But I would say that I'd imagine that the rent would wouldn't wouldn't be so high in in, in Saskatchewan or even in Regina for that matter. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now. So. To last day two for more vlogs. Okay, so now with all the snowfall we're supposed to get here, here around here, I gotta go up regular and do some, do some rounds of shoveling and all that. But another thing that Doug says like he just it's like it's sad how drug acts have come to be, you know, you know, they don't, I mean, they just, they think the drugs made them do it, but, at least what they say they do, they did it, but, truth is, they chose to get into that kind of stuff, nobody pointed a gun at them and told them to do it, but me, like, but, I think people are just, like, I think some people do that because they just can't seem to fill the emptiness in them. And, you know, like, and, you know, I hear it on every single day. You know, and it just makes me just, you know, I don't want to hear about it. You know, like, I don't, why would I, why would I just, why would I want to, want to deal, deal with people who just, who won't help themselves, like, that's just going to bring back the, what I, how I used to act and all that, I mean, 
first. I treat it first if you want. I gotta learn to treat others how I would like to be treated, but if they, but then, if they treat me, if they, if they treat me wrong, then they get it back, of course. It's a good, good model to go by, so treat others how well, I would like to be treated, then I treat others how they treat me, you know. I mean, we teach people how to treat us, so. Uh, which is actually a good way, to, good one to go by. So, you know, now, I don't, I know what I did and to make him, everyone treat me the way I, they do, and so, you know, but you know, all I do is just, you know, like it just it floors me that you know, you know like everything that people are complaining about taxes and everything, just you know, and then I mean the postal strike. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about it. You know. I think it's because they just they've been they've been relying so much on it, on 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 mail letter, and, and that's slowly going by the boards. And but they got really it'd be more competitive with other corporate companies. You know, like personally, I don't care. I wouldn't care about what, what they think. Everyone looks for sympathy, but they play the victim. You know, but that will not be me anymore. I'm not. You know, like if my rent goes up because the property tax goes up, oh well. That's just the way it goes. I mean, Red Deer Need has a lot of issues with, like, with crime and and homelessness and all that. You know, along with aging facilities that they need to address. So, but basically, that's all. That's you know, like, there's just. I mean. And the city has just been spending their money foolishly over the years, and you know, it's like everything just. I guess this is their karma, is my thought. So, well, if I think of anything to say, I'll just continue on. What I know is that. There's moments that change us forever. You know, and that's something it's like and I wonder if I'll ever see my hometown again. If I'll ever move back there. Or, you know, like and I wonder if I really if I really want to. I mean some people that just you know Some of the people that I know, I know, or have have like written on my yearbook and all that, and I realize not all of them matter, you know. I mean, they may recognize me, but but it, but if but if they ignore me, then. It's just, I'm really, right now I'm just, yeah, it's been very, you know, it's like, sometimes you gotta go back. And, you know, I really got, and I really gotta really do some thinking and hold one. Well, starting yesterday, I, no. 
I'm deciding to take the slow process of just quitting coffee and just, you know, well, at least not have it at home anyway, so. But, I gotta do it for my health. And for my independence. I gotta do it for me. Not what others think of me. And I know. I gotta silence the ego. You know, and yeah, and people nowadays just the biggest thing they fear is rejection. And it's like I that's just what I kinda was, but I didn't think of it that way, you know. You know, I mean girls want it. Well, there are girls that just wanted to know my name and you know like and I know that if I want to change I gotta change for myself and be myself cause one day I'll I'll, I'll show who I really am, and but if if some people don't like it, then that's just their that's just their issue, you know. I gotta like so go with I am is who I am, and you know, and that and that cannot change. I can guarantee from that for myself. So, anyways, that's all for the vlog and for. I started for last night, so and then, uh, now I'm gonna you know, sign off and just say, you know, and, and I'm gonna do some computer work, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a game. So until then, stay tuned for more vlogs.